Alright guys, this video is about how to upgrade your Dell Latitude or Inspiron to uh, be able to get on the wireless network at 450 megabit per second. As you can see, we're at, we're at 450 right now. Now, keep in mind I am uh, probably about 15 feet from my router, which is a Linksys uh, 4200 I believe it is. Now, keep in mind that uh, with the faster end speeds, the farther you go away from your router, the slower it's going to get, which I'll demonstrate here. Now, right now I'm about 20 feet from it. I'm going to take a little walk, and you'll see the speed go down. I'm going to go about 50, well, I'd say about 40 feet from the router. Just so I can show you as far as the details on how to get to this thing. Alright, here we are. As you can see, we dropped to about 405 megabit per second. Um, actually it's jumping back up that's that's surprising usually at this distance of about 40 feet from the router it'll drop to the 300 something 405 range but it is actually still connected at 450 megabits and uh, we're about 40 feet away we just we're actually going through a through a wall which is plaster plaster wall it's another house and as you can see it's still connected right so as far as getting to this thing, um, if you haven't watched my other video as far as how do you take the keyboard off this laptop, uh, you, may, you might want to take a look at that first. I've already actually got this thing undone. So I'll kind of show you the differences between this card and the stock card that's located in it. So on this D620, which is the one we're working on, uh, it actually came with a G, ABG card, uh, which is only uh, capable of 54 megabit per second. This is just your Intel, uh, what is that, 3945 ABG uh, card in there. Now that is a full height uh, PCI Express card. In order to get the full capability out of this laptop, you need to upgrade to a half height PCI Express, which, as you can see here, um, I have installed into this laptop. Now, I did use an adapter, uh, which basically converts a half height card to a full height card. Now, I did have to take a Dremel on the edge here and take off. Uh, I don't know, about a quarter of a centimeter worth of metal to make it fit. It almost fit, but I wanted a nice fit, so I just took the Dremel and just kind of shaved off a little off the end. You might be able to take a, uh, like a pliers and bend it down a little bit, but I just decided to cut it off for the hell of it. So basically, here you go. Um, on this one, as you can see here, it only had two antennas to begin with. So it only had the white and the black. Now the gray wire was actually stashed away. It went down down this direction. It had a uh, plastic clip on it, which I removed and connecting that to the gray gray wire here. Um, the Intel 6300 has a black, gray, white. So basically, what you do is just plug it all together, put your antennas in, put your adapter in there and you're good to go um, and yeah it connects uh, at 450 from a reasonable range you know it does drop off but it it sure as heck beats the stock card that came with it which only connects at 54 megabits and it is better than the other card I was using um, it was like a Dell 1520 or 1510 it was just your your standard Dell card that only connected about 144 so to get the 450 megabit speed, it definitely helps if you're using like a SAN. I have a, I have a SAN hooked up. Uh, network, well actually it's a network attached storage. Uh, and I'm actually able to copy that at full speed. 
so it does help quite a bit but that's how you upgrade it uh, if you're not sure how to take the keyboard off on this uh, on this laptop check out my other videos uh, I show you how to take the keyboard off a of d630 but other than that um, have a good one